This is Don at How To Airbrush. In this little video, we're just going to do a flame design on a license plate with stars and stripes. I've out, uh, laid the flames out with fine line tape and then used transfer tape to paint, <clears throat> mask off the spots we don't want to get the blue in. The flames are going to be blue. I cut some stars out out of my plotter and put them on here. <clears throat> the base color of the stars, of course, will be white, and we're just going to use the license plate white as the star color, hopefully. We're going to be using <clears throat> Trident water-based paint. For the blue, it's just straight out of the bottle. Or airbrush, any double-action airbrush will work. To begin, we're just going to base the flames right now uh, blue. You want to make the license plate was just scuffed, cleaned. I taped the flames out. I cleaned it again. Stuck the stars on there. Cleaned it again. You want to make sure that you don't touch the surface with your fingers from now on. Oil from your fingers will transfer, and uh, you end up with a mess, possibly with the paint. So you don't want to contaminate the. Your painting surface, you want to keep it as clean as possible. This is 30 pounds of pressure. Just going to go with fairly thin layers of paint until we get nice coverage. As we've done in all the rest of the lessons, the air is always on. Your fingers always depressed fully on the trigger. All you're doing is moving the, your finger back and forth. And being as humid it is, as it is here in Florida, you would think spraying water-based paint might be a little tricky. And that's looking pretty good. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Make sure we have the tips real good. In this trident, I didn't reduce or use any clear base extender in it. Straight out of the bottle. That's probably pretty good. I'm going to let that dry for about a half an hour. And then we'll work on putting some highlighted and drop shot areas, areas in on these flames. Okay, I let it dry for about a half an hour. I pulled the stars off and pre-mixed three drops of black or uh, blue, trident blue, with six drops of base extender and two drops of trident reducer. I want to make the shadow color transparent. But I don't want to lose uh, a lot of adhesion pro properties of the paint. That's why I use the clear base extender instead of just reducer. So what we're going to do now is just add a little drop shadow along the bottom of these flames and a little highlight along the top of the flames. We'll highlight it with a transparent white 
and the color I just mixed, the black, the blue, for the drop shadow color. Don't go crazy with it. You want to fade it up in the, into the blue nicely. And because this is a video, keep in mind that the colors are going to look a lot darker than they really are. What we're trying to gain here is make the flames look sort of round. So we want it darkest along the edge and fade it out into the blue or the white of the stars, whichever the case may be. That's just about good. Now we'll take just a little bit of white. These are Rich Pen 213C airbrushes. One of my favorite detail airbrushes. Again, just a couple drops of white, about three drops of white, six drops of base extender, and two drops of reducer. Again, we're going to fade it out into the blue a little. Don't go crazy with it. You can see how nice and transparent that is. It's giving us a pretty nice effect. I think we'll let it go with that. I'm going to let this dry like about half an hour and I'm going to unmask the whole thing and remask it so that I can paint the flag. Okay, I let it dry and I uh, outlined with fine line tape again the flames. I back mask them. Then we want to do red and white stripes behind it so we're going to have red stripe white red white and red again try not to get your hands on this it's i know it's hard to do but you don't want the oil transferring onto this so now we're just going to spray the red it's just trident pretty much straight out of the bottle just with a drop or two of reducer in it And this is going to be one of the areas that's in shadow. It's the fold of the flag. And this is the top of the flag, so it'll be a little bit highlighted. Another fold, another top, and another fold. Really not a big enough surface to get enough stripes on this, but we'll make do with what we have. What I want to do is just see how this paint sprays and see how it holds up to being masked. Double action airbrush, about 30 pounds of pressure. And I would say that's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to let that dry. Then we'll pull the masking off. It's covering the white stripes. The white stripes are just going to be the white of the license plate, hopefully. And once we get the white stripes uncovered, then we'll add our folds in the flag and our sort of highlighted spots. Again, there's really not enough stripes on here to do it, but 
This is just for fun. It's not something I'm going to keep. Okay, now we have the masking removed from the white stripes. We're going to take our shadow color. I added about three more drops of clear base extender to it. So we get it a little more transparent. And what we're going to do is the, the uh, folds in the flag. We're going to test our airbrush. Now at this point, if you wanted to, you could go through and drop shadow the bottom of the flames. I think I'll just leave it the way it is. You could add stitching to the flag. There's a whole bunch of stuff you could do to make it fancier. And there we have it. I may clear coat it and see what it looks like with a clear and see how easy it is to clear. Coat a two-part clear on it real quick. As you can see when I pulled the masking, not even one little speck of paint lifted. So it passed that test. And there's a simple flame, star, flag design. I know you can do better than I did. But we were just testing this paint out. So that's Trident water-based paint with your simple flames flag design. Hope you got something out of this little video. This is Don and How-To Airbrush. It's just paint. Relax and have fun.